Hi, my name is Scott Cowan, and I'm a developer on Rational Team Concert. I'd like to demonstrate the Team Concert plugin for Hudson and Jenkins that we recently developed. It improves over our other integrations with Jenkins, either through the command line interface or through the third party developed Rational Team Concert plugin for Jenkins by publishing important ALM, ALM application lifecycle management traceability information back to the build results, such as build workspace used, build snapshot, and links to work items with chain sets in the build. If you have any questions about very specific details of this tutorial, you can refer back to this wiki page with your jazz.net account. The example I'm going to follow is a compile and test example that's linked to this page, but is also available in the Jazz Build Toolkit. To set it up, you'll need to follow some of these instructions here, but I'm going to gloss over them to get right to the value of the plugin. After you've installed Jenkins or Hudson and the Build Toolkit, you'll need to configure the two of them together. I'm using Jenkins for this demo. To install the plugin into Jenkins, Click on Manage Jenkins, Manage Plugins, and go to the Available tab. I've already installed the Team Concert plugin here. But under the Available tab, you would normally search for Team Concert plugin and find it as the second one listed. The first one is the Rational Team Concert plugin I was referring to earlier. It uses the command line interface and doesn't benefit from the Build Toolkit. Once you've got that installed, configure Jenkins and tell it where the build, build toolkit is. Here I've installed Build Toolkit 401 and I've given the path to it. Once I apply the changes and refresh the page, you can scroll down to the Rational Team Concert section and pick build tool, that Build Toolkit from this dropdown. And I can enter some global server information that I can use common to all jobs if I choose. In this demo, I'm not going to. I have a job already set up. The first thing you need in your new job to use this plugin is you need to define a parameter, build result UUID. This is the identifier for the build result that RTC will create. and then select Rational Team Concert for source code management. In this example, I override the globals because I didn't set them. Pick my build toolkit, enter my server name and credentials. I could use a password file, which is explained in the wiki page. And I can either select to just build a, a workspace, or I can get the added benefit of using a build definition. Now, there's a bit of a catch-22 here because in RTC you cannot save a build definition for Hudson and Jenkins if, there, if it is not referencing a job. However, in Jenkins you can save a job without pointing to a build definition. So if I were doing the tutorial like you might be, I would leave this blank for now. I would have a val validation error, but I can save it and go on to RTC. To create a build engine in the Team Artifacts view, in the context menu for build engines, under my project area, I can enter the new build engine wizard. I can give it a name, select the Hudson Jenkins engine, click finish, and I'll have a new build engine. On the Hudson Jenkins tab, I enter my server name and port, I can test connection, and verify that the server is up. Then I create a build definition. On the builds context menu, I can start up the wizard, give it a name, select Hudson Jenkins build, make sure I choose Jazz Source Control for best integration, and then I can click finish.
I've already got one set up. <clears throat> so let's take a look. Under Jazz Source Control, I've got a workspace defined that flows to the stream where I've delivered where I've got my code. And I've got a load directory inside that will be configured inside of the Jenkins workspace. So I distinguish it by calling it Jazz Workspace. I can also select which components, create components, and uh, the particular uh, load rules file if I have one defined. And on Hudson Jenkins tab, I can get the jobs for the build for the build engine, and then select the one I want to run. However, before I do that, I should have shown you that I need to select or add a build engine here by selecting click a build engine that I want to add. <coughs> It'll show up here. And then I can go get the jobs and pick one. Save those and go back to Jenkins. Here's where I would then enter the build definition that I created. How about to validate the field, test my connection, test my build definition, and then I move on to the actual build steps. In this case, I'm invoking ant inside the Jazz Workspace folder, the Compile and Test project, I'm going to run the build XML file. In this particular case, I also specify the repository address and build definition ID again, so that that build XML ant file can further update the build result that's created. Here I've also specified the Eclipse compiler and some extra ant tasks in the build toolkit on the library. Uh, on the library is available to it. Once I've got the job all configured, I can run a build. I've already run one, but let's run another. In my pending changes view, I have an additional an outgoing change set that I'd like to deliver. Now, with the integration set up from both sides, RTC and Jenkins, I can request the build from either end. So let's do it in RTC. And I can watch the progress in RTC also. Accepting changes. Compiling, testing, completed. Now you notice the label is a little different. This one was requested from Jenkins. This one was requested from RTC. Now that Jenkins job and the build for compile and test updated all this good stuff inside my build result. In particular, created a snapshot in source control, links to the workspace, it's got links to changes and work items, created an activity that I was following progress on, accepting and fetching changes, Compile and test example actually also uploaded compile results and the test results. And the hello jar and some logs. The Team Concert plugin also published some external links to the Jenkins server, to the Jenkins job. So let's take a look at that from the other side. I can look at the changes of a particular build. It's got links to the work item, details on that, on those changes, and the change set back in the RTC web UI. 
So here are the diffs of the two files that were changed. Here's a link to the work item. And here's a link to the actual file state that was compiled. There's also a link to take me to the build result in the web UI where I can see all the same information that I was looking at in the RTC Eclipse client. Activities, compilation, downloads, external links, logs, tests, and work items. So that's a quick overview of the integration provided by the Team Concert plugin for Hudson and Jenkins. I hope you found it useful.